In this video, we are going to discuss about the STP port fast configuration in the Cisco packet tracer practically. So as we know in STP, they are blocking state, listening state, learning state and forwarding state. So with this STP port first listening state and the learning state are bypassed. So the access port of the switches that connects to the host are configured with STP port first and with STP port first the host ports rapidly goes to the forwarding states so that here host means a PC, laptop, IP phone and other equipments also can be called as such. So this is the best example you can see the switch 0, switch 1, switch 2 and switch 3 are connected and switch 3 are connected to 3 PCs. So we also have to discuss about the STP behavior without the STP port first so that you can see so we'll be looking for the switch 3 okay so when you type enable it comes with the asterisk mark and here you can check show spanning You can see the spanning tree is shown as VLAN 0, 0, 0, 001. The VLAN is showing and also spanning tree enabled protocol is IEEE. So you can see with the root ID, you can see with the bridge ID and also the interfaces available which are designated alternate ports and forwarding, blocking and the priority number also can be seen clearly here. And also you can check for each and every switch in such a way but after that now let's configure the STP port first on all access interfaces so for this we need to use the spanning tree port first default command so this command will enable the STP port first on all the access interfaces so as we are in the switch we have to go into the configuration terminal configure terminal so after enter configuring terminal you have to type spanning three port fast default so after the STP port first configuration on this switch let's check the states again by deleting and reconnecting the cable of the port first so we uh, we, so we have to delete this cable that on FA04 on packet tracer and thus and this port is also removed on show spanning tree also so now we will be checking the show spanning tree so you can clearly see here so when we connect the cable again the port immediately become up and go to the forwarding state so you can see here clearly again how the change of state takes place okay and this is about the enabling the port fast and also disabling the port fast so this is all about the stp port fast configuration